<laughs> oh, Jennifer, will you please teach me how to make this cute little mummy? I definitely will, yes. Well, you're lucky for joining us here today on Local Flavor because we're here in Hoxie at Oscars and Jennifer is going to teach us how to make these adorable little mummies made out of Oreos on a stick. They're pretty neat. We made something similar to this last year and molds. They'll taste exactly the same. We have some candy melts here and we have some Oreos and we're just going to stick a craft stick right inside the icing. I'm going to help you. That'd be great. You kind of have to squeeze the cookie together. You don't want to... Oh, I'm so they kind of breaking it. They kind of come apart a little bit. I'll let you do that last one and I'll start dipping. I just have some candy melts here. I didn't add anything to thin it. Those didn't have anything to thin it and it, I think it turned out just fine. So these are just like almond bark or candy uh -huh. melts? Yeah. The same thing? Yeah. And you just melted them in the microwave? I sure did. And I have some wax paper here. Oh, it's already got its first wrap. I love yeah. that one. Oh, turn it over. This way? Yeah, use that wrap, man. All right. And before they dry, I'm going to add, I have some sugar eyes here. They make them all different sizes, and I have these little ones. They're really cute with really big eyes, but I didn't have them on hand. So we have some little eyes. Oh, you just did with your nails. So yeah. I was going to do with this. See, now it has one wrap already on it. Ish. It looks awesome. You can't see it. Do you want me to put the eyes on while you dip them? Sure. Do you trust me? Of course. Oh, this one has some little <gasps> wraps too. Yes. That is going to save us so much work. I wish I had some tweezers. I did it. I really thought it would flip over at the last minute. I had a couple flip over on me today. What did you do? Don't I tell just me. threw it away. Just Got a new away. eye. <laughs> so these are really easy to make and real fun. Yeah, they are adorable. Now I wonder if I put those ones in too deep. Oh, it's okay. We're a good team, Jennifer. Oh, yes. See, it flipped. That's okay. I did it. Uh -huh. Can I just put more eyes in? You sure can. We'll cover it with some almond bark. Oh no. <laughs> Once again, each time it'll look a little worse. Now, I, these take quite a little bit to dry, unless you stick them in the refrigerator. Uh oh. <laughs> so we, I have a couple that were already made, that have the eyes and they are dry. Oh my goodness, little girl, look at it. I'm going to use every eye That's okay. with my mistakes. Not a problem. It's better to drop them from, uh, just a tip, I think it did work better when I trusted it from higher up. <laughs> Oh, those ones are a mess. No, they look great. Give those to the dog or something. <laughs> so you've got some that are already cool. I do. Did you let them just cool in the air or did you have to put them in the fridge? I just let mine cool in the air because I had some time this morning. But I'm going to, I think we might need some extra room. Okay, so this is what it looks like without the mummy wrap. Now you can take the almond bark and you can put it in a piping bag mm -hmm. with, um, say, a ribbon tip or a regular small a fold tiny, tip. Tiny mm -hmm. But the ribbon tip's really nice because it's flat and it's about a quarter inch wide. So it kind of, it looks a lot more like oh, bandages. Like gauze. Okay. Yes. And then you just, you do a lot like the, uh, the apples we were doing and just run it over. Oh, I want to try one. Sure. Uh, one of my favorite places to go in the world is the Field Museum in Chicago. And where I spent the most hours was in the mummy exhibit. I love mummies. And so there we have a mummy made, and now he's just going to dry. I'll set him right there. You want to try this one? Real mummies have to dry, too. That's one of the most important parts. I did not know that. I don't know my mummy knowledge, I guess. I was down there for hours, I'll tell you. And they had a little model. Oh, if you ever go to Chicago, you have to go. It's in the basement. And... They had a model set up for all the steps, but this is, 
I think I'd rather make a real mummy than do this. I'm going to mess it all up. Oh, no. You can't mess these up. It's not Unless you flip an eyeball. Just I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did just that too. <laughs> Okay, I'm nearly to give up. You're going to have to finish them. Mm-hmm. A lot easier if you do it right over the bowl. Oh, you're Add fast. See, I think because you're fast too. Look at. Oh, you want to make your wrap? You know, all different directions. That one looks like a Chinese general. Well, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's set him out to dry. They have a um, nice little squeeze bottles too now that you can fill with with candy with melts. Candy melts and you know what? There I am go. just going to show the finished one. I did put one of these zombie leg bow ties on it. <laughs> it's a bone with blood on it, but I made it into a bow tie. I already know what an Oreo with this stuff tastes yeah. like on it, so so I don't get that black stuff in my teeth. I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> it reminds me of Miss Fran. Remember, I see with the magic mirror, Miss Fran. No? Yeah, no, wrong for I'm so old. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for joining us on Local Flavor. That's scary. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good line. But, <laughs> I like that. Don't be frightened to try it at home. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to put my eyes closed or open? Uh, open, please. I don't want to get hit with the... Jennifer. <laughs> if you've seen something on Local Flavor that you'd like to try at home, Find the recipe online at nexttech.com slash local flavor.